<sighs> politics, politics, and more politics, man. <sighs> what a bunch of bullshit. I mean, what else can you say, man? What a bunch of straight bullshit, man. You know, it amazes me how... It's funny how growing up, right? It's funny how growing up, you know, we're all little and I'm sure your parents or whoever raised you, you know, broke shit down for you. And I know a common rule was, you know, don't talk to strangers, right? Don't talk to strangers. Don't go near them. Don't, you know, never trust a stranger, right? The majority of us get told that, you know, in our youth, right? Yet here we are as as grown adults voting for complete strangers to run our country. (laughs) Uh, Does anybody else see the, the fucking irony in that shit? Nobody else sees the irony in that. Here you are voting for complete strangers to make vital decisions for you. Whether it's on a presidential level or whatever, right? You're voting for this mayor or whoever. And it's like, you don't know these people. Do you know Hillary Clinton or or Donald Trump? Hell no. The majority of us don't anyway, you know? It's like, just because you've seen them on camera doesn't mean you know know that the true essence of that person you feel me so anyway man uh, i'm gonna just get on here today man off the cuff just um you know just sit back chill you know get yourself a snack or whatever man and you're just gonna break shit down man nice and slow simple and get to the point man. so um, this is going to be a uh, re-upload of the video I posted a few weeks ago. Um, I was having some sound quality issues, so hopefully that shit should be straightened out and we can be ready to rock, you know, do our thing. So, okay. So, long story short, man, this video is going to be on why politics are a waste of time. And that if we want to change, a true change in our reality, if we want a better today, not only for ourselves, but a better tomorrow for, you know, the future generation, we as people, as human beings, we must come together and be the change. Um, You know, there was a wise brother back in the day, man, um, name was Gandhi, man, I, you might have heard of him, I don't know, <laughs> but, um, you know, the homie Gandhi said it best, man, he said, you know, don't wait on other people to make changes for you, and we all know his famous quote, be the change you want to see in the world, and this quote couldn't be any more true to you know, the craziness that's going on today, the shit that's going down today, so, um, so that's, that's what this video is going to be, man, point blank, period, unite and be the change, you feel me, (laughs) I know y'all feel me, man, we got, we got some smart people here, along with the journey, man, smart people on, on, on the team, that's what I call the subscribers, man, so, <clears throat> all right, let's get into it, man. So, why is politics bullshit? I'm a, I'm a break down kind of the the you know the origin of, of politics, the system, who's in charge, who's in control, and what their mindset is. Okay, so you know, basically, as we know, the one percent runs 99% of the world, right? And 
you know, specifically for this video, I'm going to just focus on America for right now because that's, you know, what this main topic, you know, what's what we're dealing with is political election, correct? So, as we know, the 1% owns, you know, 99% of everything, right? Who's that 1% they're talking about? Basically, you know, there's a group of rich families. You have the Rockefellers um, and the Rothschilds. Those are like the two big perpetrators, if you will, players in the game. Um, you know, that they, they run everything. It's a group of rich families, um, those two being good prime examples. The Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. You guys can Google this and educate yourselves, you know, if you want to go further with that. So, what we got to understand is these people, when I say they own everything, I mean they own everything. They own media. Everything you see on TV, the news stations, schools, banks, you name it. All these corporations, these, these, you know, <laughs> bastards <laughs> um, are at the forefront of this shit. What we have to understand is... These people, all they care about is power, man, and wealth. That's it. They want ultimate authority. They want you to be ants to their current regime, to their system. They want you to be, you know, a nine to five cog in the wheel. Don't question shit. Don't, you know, don't do any of that. And when you just look at how society is set up from the schooling to, to the job market to, to everything, a lot of shit is set up, you know, like jail. You can't, you know, you can't do this. You can't, you know, it's more about what you can't do and, and you know, rules than it is what you can do. You feel me? So that's what we have to understand. We have to look at their their mentality and their mindset. They don't care about, you know, your well-being, your happiness, your growth as as an infinite being. They don't want you to to become educated, to to think for yourself, to you know, be your greatest version. You know, my man Infinite Waters on YouTube puts it. That's a term he likes to use. Be the greatest version of yourself, right? So, when you look at that, you know, who's in charge, and you look at the foundation of the system, this is why we need to stop wasting our efforts in this current system. Now, let's look at the election, right? The actual elections, the voting process. I'm going to tell you why that shit's a waste of time. That shit is a waste of time because, well, A, your votes don't even count. (laughs) That's the shit that cracks me up, man. Your votes don't even count, people. At the end of the day, when it's when it's all said and done, it is the uh, the electoral college. Those are the votes that decide who's going to be president. So, why are you wasting your energy on something that's, that really your votes are really nothing more than a survey? <laughs> you feel me? survey or a suggestion of who you want but they're going to do what they want to do anyway Um, that's the first thing you got to understand two what you got to understand as I pointed out earlier the president you know these bastards in the white house they're puppets 
on strings, man. They are just, you know, yes men and yes women to the head honchos in charge. Rockefellers, Rothschilds, so on. So, what you gotta understand, man, is this, this political shit, this is all script, or excuse me, scripted, fake BS. The stuff that you see on CNN and, and, and you know, the, 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 the Foxes, Fox Network, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's phony, man. I, you know... It's, it's it's an act to distract you and, and to not realize your true potential, your true power. You feel me? Um, you know, these presidential debates, like I said, man, I, I, I've seen better acting on fucking reality shows. <laughs> um, when you really just look at the shit from an objective mind, you can tell... This stuff is scripted. And here's here's the third and key point I want to make with you know why um, voting and things of that nature are a waste of time. You know, I, I hear people say, well, you know, if we vote for this person or vote for that person, they're they're gonna change the world. No, they're not. Because the foundation itself, the way this whole system is set up, especially politics, is broken. You feel me? Think of think of politics as like a piece of crap van, right? You got this rundown piece of shit van, all kinds of problems wrong with it, right? flat tires, you name it. But then somebody says, well, if we get Jeff Gordon to drive it, because <laughs> he's a NASCAR driver, the van will run amazing. No, it won't. Because the foundation of what he's driving is a piece of shit. Do you feel me? It's the same thing with these politics, man. It doesn't matter who gets in the office because... The system itself is broken. If the president is is the driver, as you will. Well, should I say, you know, that's the illusion, right? They lead you to believe that the president runs shit when, you know, I already said who runs shit, the elite 1%. But... For this, just for the sake of this example, if the president is the driver of this political system, if what he's driving is a piece of shit, it don't matter how good the driver is. You feel me? So, that's what we got to understand with that. And finally, I'm going to ask y'all this, right? Um, you know, for all the people that are, you know, out here voting and, you know, they think, oh, we have to vote for these people because we don't have a voice and this and that. Let me ask you something. Why would our government, this is the same government that their sole purpose is to, like I said, make you a ant a modern day slave if you will mm. excuse me so with that being said why would they allow you to vote for somebody that's actually going to give power back to the people that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any fucking sense when their whole regime is the complete opposite. They want to take your power away. They want to have the authority. 
So that's all you need to do is just ask yourself that one question. Why would your government allow you to vote for somebody that's going to give the people the power back? That's against their whole philosophy, man. Now, you might say, okay, well, DJ, if if politics is bullcrap and we shouldn't vote, well, what is the solution? It's like I said in the beginning. We the people must unite and create the the better reality that we want to see and we want to live in. And it's all the people that are, well, we don't have a voice and this and that. Yeah, because you're divided right now. You're trying to do shit in small groups. If we come together as a unified, even if we just get like one million people, right? Just, just one or two million. Millions of people. If you have millions of people coming together, you'll be able to get done way more than what what pre- than what one president can fucking do, or a small group at the White House. That's the shit that I that just cracks me up. All this time that you're wasting campaigning and voting and this, that, and the fucking third. You could have been putting that energy towards uniting and making the changes happen yourselves. You feel me? I just, I don't understand why waste all this time voting for one person when a million of y'all can get way more done and get it done more efficiently we can create a system a new system that's for the people and by the people instead of settling you know instead of compromising At the end of the day, we are infinite free beings. Our spirits, the essence of who we are, is freedom and love. You feel me? We are infinite souls that are just here on a temporary human journey. So as such, when you know who you are, true potential who you, who you are and and you know the power that you have you deserve freedom and to live a life without bull, you know bullshit you deserve we all deserve to live a life of freedom and you know ascension and growth and not to take bullshit from corrupt oppressive leaders so I know I went off for a while man yeah, I told y'all to get a snack <laughs> you thought I was playing man I, I told y'all to get a snack and get comfortable um, you know I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up here man but yeah man I just you know what needs to be done and I'm not gonna lie that process is gonna take time it'll probably take years for us to you know rebuild this, this current system but let me ask you this <coughs> would you rather spend a couple years uniting and making changes that are gonna benefit humanity 
Or would you rather spend eternity being a slave? A corporate American slave. To these, you know, elite bastards as I call them. <laughs> they, they call themselves the elite. They're just a bunch of bastards to me. <laughs> So, ask yourself that question. Why not us? What is stopping us from uniting and being the change? What do you want to see in the world? Like the homie Gandhi said to us, man, years ago. Decades ago, man. So, this is smooth, man. Y'all be easy, man. Have a good one. Um, You know, do you, man. Continue to question things. Educate yourself. Spread love. Spread spread awareness. And, you know, don't take bullshit. This is smooth, man. Y'all be easy. Have a good one, alright?